Okay. Um, a small introduction on data science Ghent, what it is so far, uh, where it can head to, because this will mainly depend on you, on the community, um, where it comes from, and then also an overview on the agenda, and then we let uh, the content speak, let's say. First of all, we started two years ago with Data Science Brussels, but I won't say too much of that about that because Philippe van Impe will um, have a word about Data Science Brussels and the Data Innovation Hub. But just to say that uh, coming from there, um, two years afterwards, we decided that the community in Brussels that we see it's really getting stronger and that we wanted to have the same in Ghent as well. Because Ghent has like a really, it's, it's an atmosphere with a lot of startups, with a lot of data science, with a university, uh, with iMinds and so on. So we definitely saw the, the potential here. And I think the, the proof of the eating, the proof of the pudding is in the eating because um, 150 registrations for the first meetup is quite successful. So we decided with um, a couple of people and I hope I that this works now, yeah. So we are by six who are facilitating that. Does it mean that we organize everything? No, later more about that, but we do the facilitation. And if the community has an ID, I mean, actually the biggest thing is not these six people, but it's actually the community. I mean, you and the almost 2000 people um, apart from not only in Ghent, but also in Brussels and so on. So I think it's really important to stress the fact that it's about the community and it's not about these people, but we are here to help and to facilitate. Then one of the, the things which coming innovation versus volume, why do I say it? Because it's really close to the mission of the data science uh, community is I base myself here on an article by Omar Mahout, which is a really good article. I don't recall the title exactly, but it was about something like, no, we don't need a digital ag agenda. And summarized in the article, Omar mentioned that you have the startups, you have the, and I also call actually the, the academics in that, because it's about innovation and the corporations is about volume. And I thought it's really interesting to see that ambiguity or the, the, the bipolar, um, the two poles, let's say. But we actually want to facilitate or to, to be, not to be friends with both, but to, to facilitate both because on the one hand, the startups, they need revenue, they need volume. So the collaboration with the, with the corporations is evident that it's interesting. On the other hand, the corporations also need innovation in order to not only survive tomorrow, but also survive in two years. And that's one of the main points we want to do with, uh, with the data science community is just to open all borders, all walls, and let's collaborate with academics, with startups, and with corporations. So if you didn't read the article by uh, Omar Mahout, I really recommend it because it, I think it's a really good um, summary or, or better analysis of the, the startup world in, um, in Belgium. Obviously, Ghent has a lot of startups, and with iMinds, with Started KBC, and there are another um, a couple of other incubators um, which are starting now. So I think it's, it's a point which in Ghent can be very alive. Then one of the things we do, but it's not the only thing, is the meetups. Um, not too much about that here, only meanwhile, please think about, because it's at the end, it's the community who gives input, who can organize things by themselves and so on. So please think about what is the ideal startup for you? Is it like we do today, you have a startup saying something, um, or actually not really a startup, but you have academics, you have a business topic, you have a data for good. Um, do you want it in the future like that? Or do you prefer, for example, one speaker which is really known and it might be an international guest and so on? So think about what you prefer, what is your wish? Because it's not about us, it's about actually the community. Um, but later on, you will have the, the opportunity, the chance to, to give your ideas, whether you want to organize it yourself or not. It doesn't matter at that point, but that we have the, the insight on what you actually want. <coughs> then also on the agenda for today is a an, an hackathon we've done with the Data Science Brussels community. It's a hackathon for um, a Data for Good hackathon. And also this year, there are a couple of hackathons planned. And Philippe will tell more about that. The idea is that while learning, while 
um, crunching numbers, we actually do it not only to learn, but also meanwhile that our, uh, our endeavors have an impact. What we are also wanting to do, or what we are do, um, doing this year, is that you're not only uh, busy then with the training or with a hackathon for a couple of nights, but that meanwhile that an, an official vendor is also involved and at the end of the hackathon that you actually can have a real certification. Not just something like, ah, here you have a nice paper, we give it for free, but something which is really a little meaningful. Not just um, like, okay, you, your attendance counts. It's, it will be about the, cop the topic and about learning the software. Then call for trainings. Philippe also will tell more about that, but we want to, I mean, we are a chapter of data science Brussels, so it's obvious that we want to do a bit the same as, as we are doing in Brussels. The idea is that the agenda is open and that, for example, if you have a company and you have a training, that you actually can check the agenda, see which time slot or which date is open. And if you want to do the training with the full community, it might be an opportunity which otherwise is not possible. In the past we had, for example, um, someone asked the training. He wanted to let come someone over from the States. This was not possible at all within the budget that normally is foreseen for a small number of people. The reflection then is, yeah, let's, let's put it, um, let, let's do it together with the community so you can share the cost and other startups or corporations actually can be involved as well. So a lot more is possible than if you do it on your own with your five people or something. And also for the corporations, I mean, it's not that if there is a training of, I just say something, 15K, normally that's like mm, a bit difficult, but in this way, everything becomes possible. Then one of the things we want to start doing, because we didn't do it with um, Brussels yet, it's for the moment, I, I mainly talked about the content. We also want to just do networking without necessarily having a data science hackathon or a meetup or something. And one of the things that we, we had in mind is, uh, for example, here, that's the, the surf club in Seabrooge. And we had in mind to, to organize by, by trainers or by um, teachers who are really having a diploma about teaching to kite surf. It's about safety and really go to the beach for a, seven, for a couple of, of days and learn to kite surf. Why? Because nothing is actually better than having a drink afterwards and get to know each other in such an informal setting. That's one. Secondly, because kite surfing, there is no past, there is no future, there is only the present. So it's first emptying the head with the wind and to kite and then afterwards having a drink and just get to know each other. So that's a bit uh, the idea. It also can be cycling. It can be something else. That's up to you. It's not there is a, this is an, a voluntary community, so it's, uh, it's not a one direction thing. Then, by the way, I didn't say it in the beginning. Some people might wonder why I speak English in Ghent. That's because, of course, it's a, Ghent, the university, has a lot of international students. Um, also, people working a, might come from wherever. I mean, not only Italy, Spain, but also China and so on. So that's why we decided just to, uh, that uh, the common language is, is English. Then what's next? The best way to predict the future is to create it. Again, the same message, it's about the community. It's not like we want to push ideas to the community. It's actually the community can not only give ideas, you also can take the action in your hands. You can do it yourself. You can, if you don't have the time, you can suggest it. We, can, uh, we will facilitate it. Um, if it's about innovation, it would be rather the opposite if you really push something. So it's really, like, the community is, this is already a big room, I think, for the first meetup, but the community is almost 2,000 people, or 1,600 uh, or 700, so there is really the potential for many things. Then an overview on the agenda for tonight. Um, Philippe will give a word about the Data Innovation Hub in Brussels, which uh, but he will say where it, where it comes from. I, I won't say that. Um, Sebastian will give an, an idea and, and what about a hackathon we've done for Doctors uh, Without Borders. So to give you an idea how it works, a hackathon, how many time do you spend in it and so on. Um, we have also the City of Things 
talk, which won't be by Bart, but by Philippe, who will present it tonight. And then Steven, who will um, give a, uh, present something about predicting customer behavior in, by uh, Lily, the product by NG Data. And then we have the networking drink, which um, also Thierry will give a word about that because um, it's offered by Micropole. Um, before we go to Philippe, who will explain about the Data Innovation Hub, what we want to do is, because I feel like it's really one direction now, because I'm not asking for interaction, but actually now I will ask for some interaction, because we mainly, we want actually to know how is the community, I mean, who are you, what is your wish, um, where do you work, and so on. So I thought actually that uh, the room would be with, with tables that we can move away, which is not the case, so we need to be a bit creative in that, and I'm afraid the only possibility is that we do something, it's standing up, so you will leave your place for five minutes. Um, so, the first thing what I want to do is really to put it very black and white, so if everyone wants to stand up and go to that part of the room, I will explain in one minute why. I will give you a couple of questions, which sometimes might be very hard to choose between them. But you will find, I mean, yeah, it's difficult with, with so many people at that place. There are actually two lines on the floor. There is one there, or let's say at below that, under that light there. And there is a, light, an, a line under that light there. Let's say if you're more tech-oriented, go to that part of the room. If you're more business oriented, go to that part of the room and we don't allow anyone to be in the middle. So you need to choose even when it's very hard. So business oriented is that part, tech oriented is at the back. Or let's do like that, that's even easier. Let's do tech oriented, business oriented. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> tech-oriented, business-oriented. <laughs> so again, that's tech, that's business. Eh? Okay, th this kind of questions is just so we all have an idea about, okay, how, how does the community look like? The next one is... Who lives in, and I don't mean Ghent like in the city center, but who lives in East or West Flanders, this part? Who lives somewhere else, that part? If you are from wherever, which country, it doesn't matter. If you live in Ghent now, it's Ghent. Eh? And then I think it's one of the last questions. Who wants, and that's more about the meetup, the topics. Who wants mainly to have an overview within the meetups to hear startups, to hear uh, corporations from region west to hear? Or who wants at that side to hear more the well-known speakers and it doesn't matter where they come from? Because one of the ideas we had in the past with Data Science Brussels was that imagine, just to give you an example, imagine Hans Rosling is in Belgium we might contact him, check if he is interested to have a talk to, to the community and invite him. And the dates would be based on when someone is in Belgium. That's the international context uh, ID. This is when you mainly are interested to know where startups um, or in, in Ghent, what they are doing. And then a the last one, that's um, something which you can, there are some post-its, I don't know where the post-its are. We have some post-its, the idea is that you, maybe you already have some IDs, we have some pens, please put your ID on a post-it, hang it at the, at the board, and then we have an ID about fun, about training, which trainings do you want to do, which fun events do you want to do, which um, speakers do you want to see at the meetup, do you want to speak by yourself at the meetup, etc. Whatever you have in mind, it's really interesting to already have an idea in which direction we are going. So please 
take a post-it and, and write it down and hang it here. So wait a moment to sit down because otherwise no one would, <laughs> would go in front to hang it at the, at the board. That's the last question because I, I request for IDs. It's easy to come in front and hang your ID here at the wall. Then we make a picture of it, we share it with you, and we do it as well. And dream big. What we noticed is that the community is 1,700 people. What we noticed is that with such a community, things which were not possible in the beginning are now possible. So really dream big and put it at the wall. The, the walking exercise is finished. <laughs> but I see, I mean, most people stay there for the networking and I think they're quite serious about it. <laughs> but we also have a networking drink afterwards, so, and this will be it at Vooruit. So I, um, I recommend to continue there. What we, I, I won't mention all of them, we will share this. Can we? Can we continue? Thanks a lot for all the ideas. I mean, it's really useful to not just guesstimate what the community wants, but to also see it and read it. Um, I won't read all of them, we will share it, but what we see is that there is a couple of times speed dating, for example, and I hear that Fintech is doing the same, so that's an interesting one. What I also read a lot is about uh, startups and workshops and collaboration and so on. And that's one of the things we also had in mind. That, um, for example, a lot of startups, they don't have the money to hire a full data science team. So you have like one data scientist at a startup, often. And either he's more into analytics or he's more in big, into big data or something else. And then they always have the question or very often like, yeah, but I need, I'm a more a big data engineer and I need more knowledge about analytics or vice versa. And we had the idea to, to set up workshops where you have, for example, okay, five data science teams from startups. And this might be five people, might be 10 people, but that you can explain your topic or the problem you have at that moment or the way you're doing something, the methodology and just put it in front of the group, the small group of, of the other four startups and discuss about it. Just in order that you're not like one year and uh, continuing on something and then afterwards thinking, ah, I should have done it differently and I could have done it if we had a workshop. So this kind of things we have on the, on the program anyway, um, but we also will reach out to you to, to really organize it. I mean, we will facilitate it, but it will come from the community as well. Thanks a lot again. I give the, the floor to Philippe. Um, remember, please, that at the end we have a networking drink. And I just asked, I don't know where Thierry is, Thierry here. Um, because Micropol is, is offering the networking drink. And what I suggest is that someone like, starts with the paper here, put on your drink, because I'm afraid if we don't do it that way, is that at the end the full like, Ghent student um, community is actually having a drink on the cost of Micropol. So <laughs> I suggest you have a, a paper here and put on your drink. Turf it. Hey, I hope you like this presentation. This presentation was held in the Brussels Data Science Community Meetup. If you want to know more of when these meetups are taking place, just check the link below. Bye-bye. <laughs>